set of action. Now let us see the mechanism of drug action. Bearing a handful of drugs whose actions cannot be explained on the basis of their simple physical or chemical properties, majority of the drugs act in complex manner, all elements of which are seldom known. So the mechanism of most of the drugs is unknown to us. The fundamental mechanism of drugs action can be distinguished into four categories. The first is physical action, chemical action through enzymes and through receptors. Physical action, a physical property of the drug is responsible for its action. For example, mass of the drug is responsible for the action of buck laxatives. Osmotic activity of magnesium sulfate retains fluid inside the lumen of intestine and thus increases the fecal bulk. So the bulk laxatives are having mass, heavy in nature. Their osmotic activity absorbs water or accumulates water in their molecules so that the amount of fecus increases and it is being eliminated out. This is because of the physical nature of the drug. This is physical action example. Now let us see the chemical action. The drug reacts extracellularly according to simple chemical equations. For example, anthacid neutralizes the gastric hydrochloric acid, which is chemical reaction. Acid plus base is equal to salt and water. This is the neutralization formula of anthracids. This is an example of chemical action. Through enzymes, almost all biological reactions are carried out under catalytic influence of enzymes. Hence, enzymes are a very important target of drug action. Drugs can either increase or decrease the rate of enzymatically mediated reactions. So, when stimulation of enzymes is done, the activity increases. When depression of the enzymes are done by a drug, then the diminution happens. This is an example of enzymatic action. Through enzymes, stimulation, drugs which stimulate the enzymes and thereby influence the rate of reaction is stimulation and inhibition inhibition of enzymes is a common mode of drug action this may be non specific or specific non specific inhibition drugs which alter the structure of any enzyme with which they come in contact or inhibit for example alcohol and formaldehyde they alter the structure of enzymes then specific inhibition drugs inhibit a particular enzyme without affecting any other enzyme is inhibition of specific type. Now the fourth mode of action is through receptors. Most drugs exert their effects both beneficial and harmful by interacting with receptors. Receptors are specialized target micro or macromolecules present on the cell surface or intercellularly which binds with the specific drugs and mediate their pharmacologic actions. The receptors are usually available on the cell membranes and almost all the drugs combine with, with those receptors and exert their action. As I told in previous classes like lock and key formula. The receptor is the lock and the drug is the key. So this is how the receptors are helping in the drug action. Now let us see the karma bargikaran or the classification of karma in Ayurveda. There is no direct reference to classification of karma. We find that drug exert action either on dosh, dhatu, mal or shrotas. Accordingly, karma can be classified 
based on their effect. The first classification of karma in relation to dosh, bata kara, pitta kara, kapha kara, means which increases bat, pit or kaf. Bata hara, pitta hara, kapha hara, means which decreases the bat, pit or kaf. And the last one is tridosahara, which decreases the tridos or which stabilizes the tridos. The second classification in relation to dhatu, rasa vriddhikara, rakta vriddhikara, mamsa vriddhikara, meda vriddhikara, asti vriddhikara, majja vriddhikara, sukra vriddhikara. Then comes rasa chayakara, rakta chayakara, mamsa chayakara, meda hara, asti hara, majja hara and sukra hara. These are classification of karma in relation to dhatus. Now in relation to mal, purisha vrittikara, mutra vidrikara or swedakara. And in the same way, purisha hara, mutra hara and swedakara. Now karma in relation to srotas, the first is pranavaha srotas. Karma related are kashahara, swasahara, hridya, and kantha. These karmas are related to pranavaha srotas. Udakavaha srotas include trishna nigrahana, hikka nigrahana, and triptigna. Annavaha srotas include deepana, pachana, rechana, bamanapaga, chad nigrahana, krimikna, anuloman, triptigna, etc. Rasabaha srotas include Balya, Jivanya, Stanya Janan and Stanya Sodhan. Raktavaha Srotas include Rakta Sodhaka, Sonita Sthapana, Vanya, etc. Mamsavaha Srotas include Brimhana. Medavaha Srota, Medohara, Lekhana. Astivaha Srota, Sandhanya. Majjavaha Srota, Karma include Majja Bardhaka, Karma. Suk Sukravaha srotas include Sukrala, Vrishya, Sukra Sodhaka, Sukra Stambhaka, Sukra Sosaka, etc. Atavavaha include Atava Janaka, Purishavaha srota include Purisha Sangrahaniya, Purisha Virajaniya, Bhedana, Rechana, etc. Mutravaha srota include Mutrala, Mutra Sangrahaniya, Mutra Virajaniya, and Mutra Virajaniya. Now, let us have a glimpse of preclinical experimental pharmacology, which involves identification of novel chemical lead structures and testing on animals and animal tissues or organs for their biological action. This is relating to drug development. Preclinical means animals not in humans. Clinical pharmacology where testing of drugs is done on human volunteers and patients for assessing the pharmacokinetics, safety and efficacy of a drug in humans. So we have to note that in vitro, the term in vitro means study carried in an artificial environment like test tube or culture media in laboratory and the word in vivo or in vivo refers to study carried in the living body or in animals. Now this is a common experimental animals example. Common experimental animals used are listed as below. Guinea pig. Guinea pigs are being commonly used to study local anesthetics, bronchodilators, amoebiasis, cholera, and antispasmotics like study. Albino rats are being used to study hepatoprotective activity, hypoglycemic activity, antifertility study of a drug. Albino mouse are used for toxicity study of drugs, analgesic study of drugs, 
CNS activity of drugs and chemotherapeutics. Rabbits are being used for pyrogen testing. Frogs are being used for local anesthetics for nerve blocking procedures. Cats and dogs are usually used for blood pressure study, gastric secretory functions study. Monkeys are used for toxicity study. Thank you. This is all about karma in Ayurveda. Thank you. Thanks for viewing.